Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel. We are today, April 10th, 2019, a Wednesday, and we are more than, uh, what, two weeks, if not more, than I've been testing out the May 2019 updates. And of course, we were talking about, you know, some of the little issues that we had at the beginning and stuff, and I wanted to update. So, uh, flickering screen, still there. I had it today. The first time I had the flickering screen in almost a week, so it doesn't happen very often. And both times it happened by a very interesting thing. It happened when I was actually um, uploading or using the file access of the browser. So, for example, I was uploading videos to YouTube. So when the kind of the file explorer window opened to give me access to the videos I wanted to choose to put online, that's when everything started flickering. I'm wondering if it's not a file explorer issue of some sort, especially when it interacts with browsers. Now, some people were mentioning Google Chrome issue. I was not using Chrome here. Two browsers were open. I had Edge, the regular Edge that was with Windows 10 uh, since the beginning, and I was with Firefox. So it doesn't have anything to do with Chrome in this case. Interesting to see that there is a flick flickering screen issue. It's kind of difficult to pinpoint because it doesn't happen often. So, you know, when it happens, it's really, really annoying. And actually, I even had the icons at the bottom of the screen and the taskbar disappear. But they would reappear when I would put the mouse pointer over them. So it's kind of a weird thing that's happening with that flickering screen. So it seems that if you have a flickering screen from time to time, it's a it's an issue in the May 2019 update. Apart from that, do I have other problems? People have been asking me, um, you know, is it smooth? Does it have, you know, freezes or anything? I have, except that flickering screen, I absolutely have no problems. I don't have any sluggishness and didn't freeze. I never had any um, blue screens, green screens, whatever. So it's very, very stable for me. I have no problem there. And pretty much everybody that I've actually seen comments about May 2019 update say that they've had a pretty good experience with it yet. Um, a lot of people said, um, you know, still have that uh, slow uh, slow uh, startup. Nope, it's now back to normal. It, was, uh, it came back to normal when the first cumulative update was released. So there's no problem there. It's really, really working well. As for questions and answers that I get, uh, some people are asking me, when is the image going to be available? You know, don't expect the May 2019 update ISO or image to be available before it will officially be released. So that means you will have an ISO with the um, media creation tool when it's released in May. Don't look now because now it's still the October 2018 update. So uh, you won't get that right now. Some are asking, uh, how do I get this if I want it right now? Once again, I want to warn everybody, you know, you better wait. It's always better to wait. Of course, some of you are PC enthusiasts and want to have it now. Well, the thing is, um, the window where you could have it is now closed. Um, if you wanted to have it, I gave you a couple of warnings in the past couple of weeks. It was that time. Well, now today we have a new build. We're moving to 20H1 in fast ring builds. You still can have this, but you'll have to choose slow ring for now. If you really want to have it today, choose slow ring or choose release preview. Uh, and where did that happen? Well, you go to the settings, you go to your Windows update settings. On the left side of your screen, you will see Windows Insider Program at the bottom of the list on the left side of your screen. There, you can get started with Insider Builds. You need to have a Microsoft account. Um, so, slurring or release preview. And that's today, okay? April 10th, 2019, that you can have it. Um, if you really want it, hurry up because uh, we don't know when slurring might be replaced with another build. Also, while well, release preview is probably going to be there for a while, so you can all, ch all of course choose release previewing. 
But don't choose a fast ring because you will be bitten by the update to 20H1 on a build that is much, much further away. And if you don't want to reinstall, you'll be stuck installing builds for a while. So, uh, you know, my personal recommendation is wait for it because there might be issues that you don't know. Um, somebody was, was telling me that he updated and there's tons of problems and uh, now that means that this build is crap and you know what? You updated before they offered it to you. You took a risk. It's not because the build is necessarily crap. It's because you might have an incompatibility but you forced it. So it forced installed. You know, that's why waiting is the best thing because when the Windows update checks your computer. There's telemetry. It knows there are things that are wrong that your computer should not upgrade to it. Okay? So that's why waiting is the best solution. Because when it shows up through Windows update, it means your PC was deemed to be okay. It deemed to be safe to update without any issues. So, um, you know, if you forced upgrade, if you pushed it, uh, I, you know, I will not accept your, uh, your, your comments or I will not accept your, uh, you know, if you're annoyed because it's not working right, well, you forced it. Uh, you're the only one to blame and nothing else. And that's it. As for the rest, well, of course, uh, we're, you know, right now it seems to be the, the test phase seems to be good. Um, a lot of people were asking, we don't have a lot of news, it's release preview. You know, release preview started testing it out Monday, so we're only, you know, the third day of, of release preview testing, which is not a lot. And it's the next week or two that will be kind of crucial. We'll know if, will they, uh, you know, update with some kind of cumulative update or something. We'll see. Um, you know, it's not impossible that May 2019 update will get a cumulative update even before its official release for all of us. So um, if you're there, it's not impossible. There might be bug fixes on the way in between now and the May official release. And last but not least, for all of those asking, no official dates are um, known right now. But uh, a lot of us think that possibly Patch Tuesday of May or around there could be the time, the time when it's going to happen. And uh, so when is that going to happen? It's going to happen on, um, if we look at the uh, May, okay, month of May, the uh, Patch Tuesday for May is quite late, May 14th, almost mid-month. So uh, have more, probably more than a month before it's going to be released officially. So hang on, you know, like I said, there's no features in there that you're going to go crazy about that you miss and you know it's really a thing of just wait here it's okay you're you're at the april 2018 or october 2018 it's fine you know you'll get it sometime just relax if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching